The Pacific Northwest has cause for concern. It's enough to make people sleepless in Seattle. If I had to choose the dangerous volcano in the U.S., it would be Mount Rainier. It doesn't even have to have an eruption to be a very dangerous volcano. It can have mud flows just from snow melt. A massive mud flow that would come off Rainier uh, could uh, reach populated areas. For example, an example not to frighten anyone, but the city of Tacoma. The city of Tacoma is built on pre-European historic, prehistoric uh, mud flows that are, are very deep, completely buried that area within the past few hundred years. But lives can be spared by the work of volcanologists. When they explore a volcano, when they lower themselves into craters or walk the hot black banks of lava, they know the danger. One reason they do it is that their research may save lives. And I think in the future, we won't have so many people at risk, so many volcanologists at risk inside the volcanoes, particularly at these explosive volcanoes that, that kill people. In the past few years, we've had quite a number of volcanologists killed basically while learning how to go in and monitor all these changes that occur inside the volcano. Maurice and Katya Kraft were the world's best-known volcano explorers. Their devotion to their work was total. Wherever a volcano was erupting, they were likely to be there. The Krafts predicted they'd eventually die on a volcano. And in 1991, on the slopes of Japan's Unzan volcano, an explosive gas cloud killed them and 35 others. The crafts left some two million feet of film, hundreds of thousands of slides, and a library that will serve scientists for decades. All over the Earth, Volcanoes scar the landscape. As world population continues to grow, more and more people will settle in the shadow of these giants. Volcanoes aren't so hazardous that people shouldn't live near them. Uh, they, they make for fertile soils, they make for beautiful scenery. It's just that because they have the potential of, of dangerous behavior, people have to be educated about them. People have to know how to live with a volcano. Most of those who work and live with volcanoes end up personifying these uneasy mountains and the forces they contain. The Hawaiians sum it all up in Pele, the goddess of fire. I believe in uh, that this is something awesome and something spiritual. So you can't be around a volcano and not be moved in any way. And uh, some people call that force Pele. Pele is, is real in the sense that there are very special forces, very special powers of volcanoes, and especially these volcanoes here in Hawaii. The Hawaiian people know these powers, these energies very, very well. And mainland folks like to come and say, what is your legend? As if someone's going to put on a grass skirt and tell a cute little legend story. And uh, it's not a cute little legend story. These are very deeply held beliefs by people that have lived with the volcano for a long time. A world away from Hawaii and New Zealand, a New England poet put it this way. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. <laughs>